Before diving into the rupee, um, it's also important to share the broader dollar view. Now, in this respect, if you were to see the policy narrative in the G3 world has really turned on its head in the past six to eight months. From talking about rate normalization, we are now increasingly talking about policy easing, when, how much, and which, has, which uh, central bank has the most room to cut rates. Now, in this respect, we do think that the growth as well as the grade differentials favor the U.S. Now, the Fed has been hiking rates since 2015 after cutting down on its QE, uh, and the rates are really among the highest in the G3 space. So that also plays into their ability to address any growth shocks. At this instant, we do think that the rate cuts that are being implemented are more to do with insurance cuts rather than recession cuts. Now, considering that uh, uh, the yields as well as the rate differentials favor the U.S. economy, the way we expect this to manifest is to uh, for the dollar to appreciate from current levels. Uh, we have held on to this view for good part of this year, uh, and we do expect the dollar to actually gain vis-a-vis -vis its other G3 counterparts uh, by India, gain further ground by India. Now, going over to the rupee, the flows picture has been pretty constructive uh, year to date. So if you were to look at the portfolio flows, uh, there have been about 13 billion inflows into the equity as well as the debt space. And on the other hand, the trade deficit uh, for the first five, six months is narrower than it was in the same time last year. Now, despite these uh, constructive flows picture, we do see that the rupee has appreciated only about uh, half a percent so far this year. Uh, and it is somewhere in the middle of the Asian pack uh, in terms of its year-to-date performance. Now, apart from the dollar, we do think that the measured appreciation in the currency is also a reflection of what the authorities' preference is. Essentially, they don't want the currency to react or you know, have an outsized, one-sided uh, rally because of portfolio inflows. And also, they remain keen to build their FX reserves, so you know, accumulate FX reserves. And that is prudent, set against a backdrop of a very uh, challenging environment, particularly because global growth is slowing down. And uh, based on the latest salvo by the U.S. authorities to consider additional tariffs on China. Now, based on this backdrop, the authorities have been very keen to continue building reserves. And I think that has also added to uh, a small appreciation bias in the rupee. Now, tying in our a view on the dollar where we expect the dollar to appreciate from current levels as well as the local authorities preference to keep uh, rupee gains limited. Tying these two points we do expect the dollar rupee uh, to uh, move up from current levels. Uh, we expect it to end at, at about 70 and a half, 71 kind of levels towards the end of the year. And I think another factor to be watched out for is also the yuan. Uh, in the past yuan movements have also been an influence on the currency. Uh, which we think, so if there is any depreciation uh, pressures on the yuan, uh, rupee will also feel some of that pressure. So tying in all these, uh, we do expect the dollar rupee to end higher uh, from current levels and closer to 70 and a half, 71.